Hey guys, so I have some important things to talk about today. And it has to do with this lovely piece of equipment right here. More specifically, what goes on this piece of equipment. As we know, this is a tripod. This specific tripod that I have, it's pretty great. I can take one of the legs out and put this on it and make it a monopod, which is super convenient, especially with traveling. The tripod is not the main focus for today. I've been a photographer for a lot of years and I'd hate to admit the amount of tripods I went through because I thought they were just trash. It took me a long time to figure out that the problem was not with the body of the tripod, but with the head of the tripod. Today, we're gonna go through a couple different types of tripod heads and which is best for the type of photography that you do. So let's get started. For our first tripod head, we're gonna talk about this little guy. This is a ball head. As you can see, there is a little ball inside the mechanism and that is how you can move. Whichever way you need a point, it's on this little ball and it moves around in a circle, which is a pretty good idea. And this is especially good for um, portraits or landscape. I don't like ball heads because many things can go wrong with a ball head. One is as you can see this massive lens that I have on. If I were to loosen it up and let's say I'm shooting and I've pointed, I forget to screw it back up because you have to screw it on and screw it back when, every time you find your place. Let's say I just got done capturing the photo that I want to capture. I forget to screw it. This is going to fall back because it's so heavy and because especially with bigger lens, it's going to tilt all the way back and I've done that so many times. And the camera, it is not good for your camera. It's definitely not good for your lens and just so many things can go wrong with it. That's the first thing that can go wrong. So what else can go wrong with a ball head? Let's say I'm sitting at a lake and a herd of deer come through. I unscrew it and I point, find my spot, screw back, Take a few pictures, unscrew it, come over here to these, screw it. It takes a long time to screw it. Screw back, take a few pictures, unscrew it, because now they moved over there. Unscrew it, come back over here, screw it back, take a few pictures, and so on, and that's just all day long. You just screw, unscrew, screw, unscrew. And that is why I absolutely hate a ball head because it's just inconvenient. So much time that passes through these animals moving that I'm trying to capture and I have to be quick and I gotta be ready. But I also want those crystal clear photos that are stabilized so I have to screw it so it's in its spot. And it just takes so much time that I don't wanna give. Especially in wildlife photography, I have to be quick and I have to be able to move my camera quickly. And so I hate the ball head. Most of my equipment is way too heavy for it. This one is a really thick ball head, but a lot of, especially new photographers or photographers who can't spend a lot of money are gonna go for the cheaper tripods and they're gonna have much smaller heads on it. And it's just, it's just not good. Ball heads are good for landscape or photos that, you know, you don't have something that's moving right in front of you. That's perfectly fine if you wanna stick with your ball head, but no need to worry because I have something way better and my absolute favorite tripod head to show you. Now look at her. Look at her in all of her glory. This is a gimbal and she is beautiful and magnificent and everything that I needed. Those two problems that I mentioned before it being too heavy for my camera and taking forever to swap positions. This magnificent little beauty fixed both of those problems. First problem, is it too heavy? Obviously not. And I don't have to unscrew anything. Any position I go, she is ready to go. Whatever I leave it at, really that's all you could ever ask for. So that fixes both problems. Not breaking any of my lenses. She's staying where I wanted her. So if that deer moves, oh, here we are. There, boom, done. 
but I got this set up very cheap when I first started and I love it. Like I don't see any reason to change. I travel with this tripod and it does everything I need it to do. This head is magnificent. I believe it's only like $60. I will link it below. It's not as a, it's not over a hundred dollars. I can assure you that. I hope everyone gets themselves a gimbal and gets rid of those ball heads that are causing you all those headaches. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.